Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen, it's Barry here. Uh, we're on our third recipe today for Mug Month. Uh, today it is the turn of sweet and sour chicken in a mug, and this is why. Hi Barry, Casper here from Sweden. Uh, I'd like to suggest something uh, with the ramen that you can have in a mug. Uh, would be fun because I enjoy my ramen and I would like to try it out in a mug if you have a recipe or something. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Hey, Casper, the noodles I'm using are fine egg noodles, not strictly ramen. I couldn't get them at my supermarket. Don't tell anyone. All right, shh, cheers, mate. It is so, so good, guys. If you want to have a go at making this, you want to hit pause on the video right now. Uh, oh, that was a terrible click, hang on. Uh, write down all of those ingredients. They're also down below in the description box. A chick mug uh, is optional, the whole chicken, chick reference. I thought that was kind of cool. Anyhow, this is how you do it, baby. We'll start off making the sweet and sour sauce. So in a separate mug, combine together the majority of your pineapple juice. Also add in the ketchup, your brown sugar, soy sauce, the vinegar, and both of the pastes. Get that in there and give it a blooming good mix together until it's like a murky ready color. Into your main mug, add in your corn flour and then half of the reserved pineapple juice and give it a good mix together until it's like a pale, pasty, whitey ghost color. That's you know, the best reference I've got for you. Add in your sliced red peppers and then follow up by adding in your spring onions and also your chunks of chicken. But hands up if you forgot to press record on the camera during this step. Yes, I did. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, the chicken goes in as well. Give it a good old mix through together and then top it up uh, with some cold water from your tap. Just a little bit in there, around about 50 mils. And then follow up by tipping in your sweet and sour sauce we made earlier, getting that quite close to the top two. Again, mixing it all through until combined. Then whack it into your microwave for two minutes on a blast uncovered as well so sort of like convertible car style yes roof down with the two minutes up you just want to get your mug again and shove in your chunks of pineapple pieces and your water chestnuts water chestnuts are possibly one of the most boring tasting things on their own but in a sweet and sour they add a bit of crunch to so get those all in there you want to cover it with some cling film giving it a cheeky little pierce and back in the microwave again to whiz around fun times when it comes to taking it out of the microwave, guys, be careful now, because that mug is getting warm. Remove the cling film whenever you're ready. And what we want to do now is grab our dried noodles, ramen, whatever we're using, anything basically that cooks within about three minutes on a hob normally. You want to stuff that in there as much as you can. There's no real neat way around it. Cram as much as you can in to increase that volume. Get a new sheet of cling film over the top, pierce it again, and whack it back in your microwave for two minutes. And that is it. Once ready to serve, carefully remove the cling film, scoop all the nice ingredients to the top so you get a full range of delightfulness inside our sweet and sour chicken inside a mug. It tastes absolutely phenomenal. I really hope you give this a try. Remember to check out the other recipes in Mug Month already. It should appear up here somewhere. And if you've got a suggestion, one more mug recipe to go in this month, let me know down below. And also send me a video like Casper did on your phone, something easy like that. Groovybaz at yahoo.co.uk. Email it to me and you could be in a video. Check out my last video and that's it. I love you. Bye. Uh, see you next time. Goodbye.